Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam. My dear uh, brothers and sisters, our topic for today that we are going to discuss is about the uh, love of our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The love of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was expressed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when he said قُلْ إِنْ كُنْتُمْ تُحِبُّونَ اللَّهِ فَاتَّبِعُونِي يَحْبِبُونَ اللَّهِ See O Muhammad See O Muhammad Proclaim O Muhammad Proclaim to the world Proclaim to the believers That if you love me Just follow me Follow Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Qul in In kuntum tuhibun Allah Fattabihun Proclaim to the world And to all the Muslims That if you love me, just follow me. Follow if you love my prophet. If you love me, follow my prophet. Your people, Allah, and Allah also will love you so much. So that's why, my brothers, in Islam, the love to our prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is not. Manifested or is not sure, is not sure to the celebrity of his of, of his birthday. That is not the love. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. It does not mean that we love Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam because we are celebrating his birthday. Celebrating the birthday of our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is haram, forbidden. Forbidden to all Muslims because it did not done by all the prophets of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala since Adam to Ibrahim Alayhi Salatu Wasalam to Prophet Musa Alayhi Salatu Wasalam to Prophet Isa Alayhi Salatu Wasalam to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasalam. There is no advice from the prophets, the previous prophets. That we must celebrate their birthday, and Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam did not give us any advice, did not give us any order or command that we are going to celebrate his birthday. Therefore, celebrating birthday of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is a great bid'ah, inhibition, inhibition. Although there are many Muslims around the world who are celebrating the Berdi Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, but they are doing be our inhibition. They are inhibiting in Islam because that is not the commandment of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. That is not the commandment of our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The law to our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is to follow his commandment, to follow his sunnah. He said, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Kalau tak tahu saya ini mana tama sabun lima pada tadi lupa lagi apa dah. I leave for you two things that if you follow it, you never be go gone astray. You will never be gone astray after me. So that is the Quran, the Holy Quran, and the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So mana apa tadi? Sapaan yang mana tadi Islam? Bawal ko ang pag-celebrate o pag-diriwang sa ating ma uh, mahal na Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam sa kanyang pamangkinan. Ipagbawal ko natin sa ating mga pamilya at sa lahat ng Muslim na masasalubong natin o makakarinig sa ating salita na buod na buod pag-celebrate ng birthday ng Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Ipagbawal din natin sa mga pamilya natin at sa mga relative natin na huwag sila mag-celebrate ng kanilang mga birthday, ng kanilang mga kapanganakan sapagkat iyan na hindi ugalit ng mga is, ng isang Muslim. That is the fruits, that is the 
the fruits of the modern civilization from the western world. Yan ay galing yan sa mga taga-panduranin, galing sa Amerika, galing sa Europa, and it does not connect it with our Iman or with our religion, the religion of Islam. We have given by the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we are commanding by the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that we are only celebrating two festivals, two great festivals, and that is the Eid al-Fetr and the Eid al-Adha, the festival after the end of the fasting of the holy month of Ramadan and after the end of the holy month of the Hajj of the Barada, after the end of the point of the to Mecca. So we are celebrating Eid al-Adha. My dear brothers in Islam, I appeal to all my brothers and to all Muslims who heard my words, my speech, that we must we must live the education. Ewan yung natin, palimutan po natin itong tinatawag na education, itong bid'a na ginagawa ng ating mga nilong at ginagawa din ng mga taong nagsisilipid o nagdiriwan ng kapanganakan ng Pagkita Muhammad SAW sapagkat ang hinangan ng ating mga kapatid ay para tayo ay panugdan ng Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at para tayo ay pagpanahin yan sa kanyang paraiso dito sa mundo at sa huling araw at lalo-lalo na sa kanyang paraiso wa asir gawana at sa huling tayo ng ta'alamin Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh